right, so here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5-2 play. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list. That includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC's lightweight division and has the frame to compete up, and he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC's career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Akashev tonight. Our tale of the day for this lightweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, is one So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier as round one gets underway. He said in advance of this one, this is not a street fight. I've got to stay unemotional and not just try to hurt him. i got to be defensively responsible. Easier said than done for a fighter as gifted offensively as Dustin Poirier. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight and all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's drawing at you with the right jab, and then boom, he drops that right hand. We have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. Nice jab by Poirier. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. There it is. Now he's running him up. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Takes his back now.
Just over two minutes to go in round one. Making all these shots count. Nicely done. Oh, good ground and pound here. Makashev's back in full mount. This is a terrible position. Gotta get out of there. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Islam Makashev. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Gotta be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Makashev's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home. Uh, stop, stop, Second round, stop. straight ahead. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how Ready sharp he is, Ready. how technical he is. It. it allows him to land in spots where his opponent is bad. Oh, and there's that straight left for Dustin Poirier yet again. That has been his weapon of choice throughout his career. He's got him working here in this matchup. He's, he's got it going. You know, DP is a good fight. Whoa! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get him. He hurt him again. The takedown is not there. Oh! Oh, misses with the jab. Masha goes in for the takedown now, and he's able to get it. So a nice entry and a wise move, given how the things were playing out on the field. Three minutes to go. Koshchev's in half guard. Oh! Oh, he lands a big left hand. Fight up. Fight up. Massive shot lands. It's over, John. Fight's done. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Oh, and really starting to make these shots count. Now he's going full mount. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. This is tight. It's work. It's going to work. Yeah, Page and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out there. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. 30 seconds to go in round two. Man, has his chin been tested early. 
Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Hey, stop. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity right, crowd. Near knockouts by both breath. fighters. Breathe. Probably the best Good. round we've seen thus far right. this season. Oh, man, this is the you best round, round of fighting that I have seen for a very years. long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, so there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He heard it bad. He went right to the liver. Boom, landed it on the sweet spot. And was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. That Darce choke is tight. Beautiful transition. He's glad to come out. This could be trouble. Look at that. Recognizing about the move position. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. That was nasty. Makashev's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, that looks tight. Look at him, he's starting to flash the ball right there. He's trying to do it. He slams him down. He uses straight power to escape that triangle choke. Great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality yeah. by this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Makashev's back to the side control now. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Really good job with the ground and pound, and now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. Take a deep breath. Bro. That was a great round, man. You're controlling him everywhere, okay? You almost got that arm bar there. I need you to stay tight. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Game posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Fourth it. round now, fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. Beautiful oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Take your time. Take your time. Great shot from the top position. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Side control now. Poirier's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Makashev's man. Oh, he's got his back now. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Ooh, strong clip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Ooh, Kimura into the arm bar now. That was a slick transition. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Fourier's right back to the full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Makashev's in half court. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, Jim. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Seconds of round four. Work. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, good. Nice round, nice round. Relax. Take some water and listen. You're killing him with your strikes, okay? Let's sharpen up. Let's be snappy. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice block there, and then a counter straight punch is good. Nice sequence there by Islam Akasha. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, huge right hand! Islam Akasha gets the single leg takedown. Trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Man has his chin been tested early. In the half guard. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. This is a big round for Dustin Poirier in terms of him having to dig deep to stay in this fight. Nice takedown. There you go. Oh! 
steps in half court. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancements. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Poirier. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh! Makhachev's looking for that arm triangle now. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Poirier's head is out. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Good work from the top here by Dustin Poirier. Lands a nice punch from his back. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Islam Akasha. So an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-44, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion 